Many Russians are trying to leave the country to escape the military mobilization announced by Vladimir Putin. Tickets for direct flights between Russia and Serbia have sold out, and there are long queues at a number of border crossings. As Russians leave, Moscow is holding self-styled referendums in four contested areas of Ukraine on whether residents there want to join the Russian Federation. The West has described those votes as a sham. Uh, we believe that these will be sham referenda. They won't be legitimate. They certainly won't be free or fair. They're designed, they're, they're preordained uh, to allow Mr. Putin to say, look, this is Russian territory. And now Ukrainian attacks are on, Ru on the motherland, not on Ukrainian territory, which is, of course, not true. And as you heard uh, Jake Sullivan, our national security advisor, say yesterday, we're not going to recognize that. And so many other nations around the world aren't going to recognize that. North Korea's military says it has never exported weapons to Russia and it does not plan to do so, rejecting accusations of arms trade between the two countries. Earlier this month, a U.S. State Department spokesperson said Russia may be in the process of purchasing millions of rockets and artillery shells from North Korea amid the war in Ukraine. That would violate multiple UN Security Council resolutions on the North. In response, a top North Korean military official issued a rare press statement denying the accusations on Thursday. Rising food prices, startling energy bills and frustration with politicians and employers. That's what brought 10,000 people to the streets of Brussels on Wednesday. Dressed in red, green and blue, the colours of the three main unions, the anger was palpable. Protesters want politicians to take action now. Iranian women cut their hair and burn their hijabs. Dramatic scenes after days of anti-government protests. Demonstrators are expressing their rage after 22-year-old Masa Amini died in police custody. The Kurdish-Iranian woman was arrested last week by the so-called morality police for improperly wearing her hijab. Authorities say her death was caused by a heart attack. But Masa's family says she has no history of heart problems. Protesters point to reports of medical scans showing she suffered a fatal blow to the head. Her death has triggered already simmering resentment against Tehran's policies limiting freedom in the Islamic Republic. A frightening infectious disease has returned to one African nation. According to the World Health Organization, an Ebola outbreak has been declared in Uganda. Health officials have found a dozen cases of the viral infection, also known as Ebola hemorrhagic fever. Several deaths have been attributed to the outbreak. Ebola is spread through contact with bodily fluids. It can take several days for symptoms to appear. The disease causes both internal and external bleeding and is often fatal. Now, a massive cyber attack that has hit around 10 million Australians, possible leading to leak of their crucial personal details. Optus, the Australian unit of telecoms firm Singapore Telecommunications, said that it was investigating the unauthorized access of customer details, including home addresses, driver license and passport numbers, after the cyber attack. Optus claimed it immediately shut down the attack after discovering it and that payment details and account passwords had not been compromised. Fiery sparks shooting out of a plane departing from Newark Airport. Oh my God! The person who captured this stunning video, Murtala Mbake, an aviation photographer who had just finished his shift as a gate agent. The flight to Brazil last night had just taken off 
when United Airlines says it experienced a mechanical issue, likely the hydraulic pump. Yeah. Oh! Murtala's video shows the sparks slowly falling from the sky. United 149, uh, here the sparks uh, now dissipated, uh, appeared to be uh, from your engine. All right, thank you for the information, United 149. The plane was forced to make an emergency landing, but only after circling in the Atlantic for about 90 minutes to burn fuel.